Hey everyone, back at it again with another AWS Parsec Marvel guide. Since posting the first video, there's been a few tweaks found to make post launch easier and more stable, while also letting you play Marvel on full screen. Quick disclaimer, running a server typically costs about a dollar an hour and creating an image costs about four cents a day in storage. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll walk you through all the steps needed to get it going after making an AWS account. If you have seen the first video, you can skip ahead to the time shown on screen. Before launching an instance, you need to take care of a few things on the EC2 dashboard. The first thing you need to do is request a core limit for whichever region you plan to host your server on. Click on the support link in the upper right of the dashboard, go to support center, and create a case. Select service limit increase, then under the limit type drop down bar, select EC2 instances. Select your region, make sure G instances are selected under instance type, and make sure your limit value is at least 4. You can click the Add Another Request button to request multiple regions. Requests usually go through within 24 hours. Before getting approved, you can still do all the prerequisites needed to get your server going. Head back to the dashboard, click on Services in the top left, then click on IAM under the Security section. Click on the Delete Your Root Access Keys section of the page, then click Manage Security Credentials. On this page, click on the Access Keys section. Here is where you'll generate a CSV file with access keys. The keys in this file are used to update the GPU after server launch. Head back to the dashboard and now click on Key Pairs. Here you'll make a PEM file that will be used to decrypt your password when you connect to your instance. You need to make a different key pair per region. You can change your region with the button in the top right. Over time, you'll generate new security groups to launch instances. You can clear out these security groups when they build up by clicking on Security Groups, selecting your generated rules, and then delete them all at once. Now you're caught up to the people that followed the first video. Before launching, you need to take care of one last thing. Click on the Services button on the upper left and search for Systems Manager. Click on the pop-up drop-down. Click on Quick Setup and set up everything with the default rules like so. It doesn't matter if all the things in Quick Setup don't go through perfect. You just need a generated IAM role. Now you're ready to launch an instance. For the new method, you'll be using an image from the AWS Marketplace with virtual workstation drivers pre-installed on the server. You can search for virtual workstation on the AWS Marketplace, or just click on the link provided in the description. If you searched for it, make sure you click on the one that says Virtual Workstation Win Server 2019. Using the software adds no extra cost. You still pay the standard price for using a G4DN.xlarge server. Click on Continue to Subscribe. You'll agree to some terms on this page. When done, continue to configuration. Select the region you'll be running the server on this page. After making an image, you can transfer the image to whichever region you need. Click continue to launch. On this page, under choose action, select launch through EC2, then click on launch. Your server should be pre-selected on g4dn.xlarge on the first page. Click next to get to the configure instance details page. Change auto assign public IP to enable. Then click Next until you get to Configure Security Group. The defaults on these pages are good. Delete on Termination should be pre-selected on your volume on the Add Storage page. Once you get to the Configure Security Group page, click on Add Rule. Then make your new rule type RDP. After that, change all your rule sources to My IP. Click Next, review your settings, and click Launch. Select the appropriate key pair for your instance, check the box, and launch your instance. Right after you launch your instance, make sure you go to the Instance page, right-click, and under Instance Settings, choose Attach Replace IAM Role. Select the role you created earlier from the Systems Manager Quick Setup, and then click Apply. Right-click on your instance, hit Connect, download your remote desktop file and wait to decrypt your Windows password. When launching from Virtual Workstation, it takes longer than the first vid setup to decrypt. It takes up to around 6 minutes to do so. After you decrypt your password, copy it and open up the remote desktop file. Paste your password, hit remember me, and connect. After it's done booting, click yes on the network prompt. Here I open up the taskbar settings and make the notification area always show icons. 
I do this to make opening NVIDIA control panel easier. I check the NVIDIA control panel to make sure that the drivers are pre-installed correctly. Now open up Internet Explorer. This step is important because it changes a few security settings that let PowerShell do its thing. Once it's open, click OK on the security confirmation dialog box. After that's done, you can close Internet Explorer, minimize the remote desktop, and then move over to your own browser and then open up the Parsec Cloud Preparation Tool. There's a link in the description for this tool. Big thanks for the Parsec team for making it. Copy the whole script, then move back over to the remote desktop, click on Start, and open up Windows PowerShell and Administrator. And just remember to not click on any of the PowerShell windows run by the script. It will crash the script. Only click it from the little top of the window. Paste your script in with a right click, not a left click, and then hit Enter after. The main part of the script will boot up. When the new window pops up, it will ask you if you want to set up an auto login. Respond now. Then let the script do its thing until the GPU updater pops up. After the GPU updater tool pops up, so will the Razer installer. You can sign into Parsec during this time, but wait to update the GPU till after the Razer installer is done. You can sign into the same Parsec account for hosting and connecting. After signing into Parsec, go to Settings, change Windowed Mode to Windowed and VSync to Off. These settings shouldn't matter on the cloud computer, but make sure that your client side settings look like this. Also make sure that your client computer parsec settings have hosting set to disable. Under the host settings, change the resolution to 1280 by 720 and make sure the bandwidth limit is set to 10. You can change your computer name here to make it easier for people to find you. Confirm that your settings are saved and close the parsec window. Once everything is finished, you can now update the GPU with the keys from the CSV file. Let it do its thing and reboot when prompted. After the cloud computer is done rebooting, connect back in with the RDP file. When the computer boots up, open the GPU updater on the desktop, and the NVIDIA control panel from the notification tray in the bottom right.
After seeing that you got a working NVIDIA Swirly logo, you can go ahead and minimize it, open up Google Chrome, and install Steam. Sign into Steam and install Marvel when that's done. Once you get to the Marvel main menu, you can exit with the escape key, and then reboot the cloud computer. Connect back in with RDP file. Then once you can see you have Parsec running, close out of the remote desktop, and then connect back in with Parsec. Once you're in, you can open up Steam and boot up Marvel. Close out of Steam, and then click to the main menu. Once you get to the main menu, you can press a button on your controller to connect it to the cloud PC. If you're not making an image, you can start playing with people now. If you are making an image, you can finish up making sure that your copy is good, then close out of Marvel, and then Parsec. When you've closed out of Parsec, connect back in with the remote desktop. Click Start, then click EC2 Launch Settings. Once it's open, make sure that Random is selected under Administrator Password and then you'll be clicking shut down with sysprep. Click yes to the little box and then let it do its thing. After you get disconnected from the remote desktop, you can head back to the dashboard. Go to the page with your running instances and make sure that your instance is stopped. If it is not stopped, you can click the little refresh button to check until it is. Once you see that it says stopped, right click on the instance and go down to image. Click on create image. Give your image a name and a description and create your image. You can see the pending image in the AMI section of the dashboard. Your image will take up to 10 minutes to finish processing. You can check its progress by clicking on Snapshots. 
There's a refresh button on the snapshot page to help you check. Once your image is completed and ready to launch, you can terminate the instance that you just made your image from. Go back to the running instances page, right click, head down to instance state, and click terminate. Whenever you want to launch your image, go to the dashboard and click on AMIs. Right click on your image and hit launch. Once it launches, attach your IAM role from earlier and wait about six minutes to be able to decrypt your password. Once your password is ready, open up the RDP file, hit remember me and connect. Click yes to the network prompt. You'll need to sign into Parsec, but all of your settings will be saved from before. Close out of the Parsec window, then close out of the remote desktop. Connect back in with Parsec. Once you're in, you can open up Steam, boot up Marvel, and you're good to play. You can use Control shift w to toggle full screen for Parsec. You can kick people through the Parsec overlay. Control shift m is the keyboard shortcut. This is the area where you can kick from. You can add and kick people by double-clicking the Parsec icon in the notification area on the Parsec client. When you're done playing, shut down the cloud computer through Parsec, head back to the dashboard and terminate your instance. You want to make sure that you have zero running instances as well as zero running volumes or you will be charged on-demand pricing. Hope y'all can get it going and enjoy some better Netplay Marvel.